Some duck dogs people may find this opening scene distressing for your discretion advised. <laughs> Okay, that's not loud, is it? Absolutely not. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a Hopefully this is not on camera. And worldwide duck dogs don't see this. Okay. <laughs> From beginner... Get on you, Trudy. Well done. ...to winner. <laughs> this is Doc Dogs, the fastest growing sport for dogs in the world. And this is the Sydney City Doc Dogs Summer Splash 2013. Tough job for the judge. 18-6. So, how do they know who's won? Okay, so, the I judge which I'm doing today is for the club competition. There's three different forms of competition. There's worldwide, which is what we just had a few weeks ago in Dubuque, Iowa. Which, and then we have the Nationals competitions, the National Series, which was kindly sponsored by Virgin Velocity up at the Gold Coast. And then the club comp, which is done by the eye judge, which is what I'm doing right now with Liz and there we go. Da- the Daisy. There we go, Daisy. 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 She kept her little back end up to get 11-4. 11-4. Okay, we're talking to the uh, the president, no less, yes. the little president there of the Sydney City Dog Dogs. Rob, tell me all about Dog Dogs. Uh, So Dog Dogs is a uh, a big up and coming sport here in Australia. Um, We have three recognised teams now. We have the uh, the ACT which is in Canberra Um, and we have the Gold Coast team up in Queensland and now we have our club which is Sydney City Dog Dogs. Um, We currently hold all the um, the, the top dogs here in Australia, the top three dogs are all from um, from New South Wales. Now this is Tilly, I know. This is Tilly and Trudy. This is Tilly, yes. Um, one of the crowd favourites with her beautiful um, her outfits. She's got a few different outfits, I've noticed. She has a wardrobe change every time. Every time. So at the moment she looks like she's sporting a Miss America. <laughs> What's the fascination with Doc Dogs for, for these people? I mean, I can see it's fun, you know, once or twice, but coming every weekend and participating in competitions, what's the deal? Yeah, it's just an addiction. Brian, it's like, um, I mean, at the end of the day, you're getting a dog off the couch, um, you're getting them getting exercise, you're getting them into the water, you're getting them doing what they uh, bred for some of the dogs. So, um, you know, it's just really about getting the dogs out of their home environment, giving them something to do and enjoy themselves and the owners just happen to love it as well. So is there is there any size dog, any kind of dog? Any breed, any size, any age. So as long as it's over six months old for uh, insurance purposes um, and it just has to be healthy. So obviously we can't have a dog that um, has a gash or has a bad limp or anything like that. We obviously we want um, we don't want any dogs getting more injured if they come. Um, so yeah, any dog, any breed, no discrimination in dog dogs. Fantastic, we're going to watch this one. Come on. Come on, girl. She's nearly going. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, Brian, some dogs just need a little bit more enthusiasm. Yeah. So uh, the more excited you get, the more excited they get, the more chance they have to really do those big jumps. You can hear Farmer Dave over here getting excited like a little schoolgirl. Farmer Dave, his key line is act like a 12 year old girl at a One Direction concert. Yes. 